wanted to write a play called The Last Ambulance for ages. For no other reason than I like the idea of a final ambulance siren being heard. And there's a Philip Larkin poem which sort of gestures towards the idea of a last ambulance coming to you. And I thought it was quite an interesting little debate between me and the title what that means and really it sort of it boils down to a contemplation on destiny that there is a young man called Teddy who for an unknown reason is being questioned by another man and their uh, little planet of uh, scenes circles all the other action of the play what they're actually talking about is a plane crash and through the rest of the play we dissect two stories that are involved in that plane crash. Everyone brings something very different to this process. As Connor spoke about his, his background as a composer and how that affects a piece of text, and then how you get a group of student actors in relying more on character and situation, and then myself who comes with uh, creating a devised world around all of that stuff. It makes a melting pot, I think, of really exciting yeah. form and, and ideas uh, creating one piece of work. We spoke a lot about the world in which the play is set, which is uh, quite a grotesque world um, with, a, with, a, with an enormous war going on and then completely going against that with the design and Katie has created a really pristine set for us to destroy as we go through yeah, the Yeah, so it's, it's cleanliness, you know. She's really embraced this idea and it's a very European aesthetic, yeah. which is that you only have mess when you deserve it. Mm -hmm. so, don't distress things too much and have a clean lines and let the mess be within the play.